So today we're going to do a little SCP, okay? Um, SCP is Secure File Copy. Um, so let's start with here in my temp. Um, so I have my public key. I'm going to remove this. Um, and I'm going to just um, touch. Well, let's do this. Echo local into local. Okay, so I have a file called local, local, and if I cat local, uh, local's in it. Okay, uh, now I'm going to log in to my remote server, and if I do an ls, I have nothing there. So I'm going to um, echo remote into remote. Okay, do an ls, I see remotes there. Now, how do I get local up? Um, and and from here, I can't really do it um, because I'm right now on the remote system. But what I can do is I can exit out. And I see I only have local here. I can SCP. And, the, oh, let's do this but just by hitting the up arrow. And I come back to my command. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change this from SSH to SCP. Because this is this this stays the same. So if I need my identity file, it stays there, which in this case I don't because it's the default. So I'm just going to delete that. And then I say what I want to copy. And since what I'm copying is local, local, because it's on the system, it's in the folder, local. And then um oops, shoot. And then what I need to do is put it on the remote system and I'm going to put it in my home folder, just dot. Okay. So this is my login at the IP address and then colon means home folder and dot means just put it there, leaving it the same name. So hit enter and it looks like it worked. So if I look, I still only have local here, but if I SSH, SSH, OVI, if I log back in and now I do ls, I'll see I have local and remote. Okay, cool. So now let's exit. And here I still only have local, but I want remote. So if I come back up to my S, uh, SCP command, instead of copying local, this time I need to first log into my remote system at the remote IP address. And the name of the file is re remote. And I'm just going to put it here. Now, instead of putting it here, I'm going to do this home jstrain. Well, no, we won't do the full path. Um, I'm going to tell it to call it something different. We'll just do a single name. I'm going to call it, I'm going to say different. Okay, enter. And it copied it. So now if I do ls, I have different here. If I cat different, it says remote. I copied the file down, but I changed the name in the process. Now I don't have to. So let me come back up. And instead of saying different, I'm just going to do dot. So leave the name the same. ls. So I can more star. And I can see different has remote in it. Cat star. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so they each have, I thought more would work. Different has remote and, oh, I need to go to the next file. Anyway, um, so we could cat remote. See, it has remote. Cat different. See, it has remote and cat local and see it has local so we we copied something up and we copied something down um but if you notice so i'm going to rm everything now um when i removed everything here it does nothing to my remote system because it's a completely different system so i'm going to remove all that now uh anyway i hope that was helpful i'm not going to include the commands with this one um you're gonna well yeah, you're going to need to create your own uh, on this one. 
So partially because uh, you're going to be logging into a different system. Anyway, uh, hope that was helpful, though. Um, SCP is very much like SSH. Um, and as long as you know the SSH command, you can figure out the SCP command. Anyway, have a good day.